What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Toronto Tuners video. It has been a very long time. There's been a lot that's been going on in 2021 and that's why I haven't been making so many videos. If you see behind me, I'm in my garage currently and it's, it's quite cold in here because it's not insulated. We actually moved into a new house. So there's been a lot going on in the first half of 2021. And then I ended up changing to a new job. I'm working for the, the city of Toronto now. Long process to get through that. Yeah, so that took up a lot of time and I just never got around to making a new video. I'll show you guys in a second, but I haven't been able to make videos on the rally art. That's actually because I don't have the rally art anymore. I want to show you guys what I got instead. I'm looking at it right now. I think, I think you guys will like it. Are right, you guys ready? Let me show you. So this is my uh, 2014 Nissan 370Z. Overall, I'm very happy with it. I've only had it for a couple months now, a few months. I'm just in love with it. Everything about it, you know, the styling, the body shape, the wider wheelbase, it's uh, it's very, very different from the rally art. Let's go ahead and have a look inside. So this is the interior. Now I did get the uh, touring with the sport package model. What that basically means, I got the upgraded leather seats that are power adjustable and heated. I had to get the heated option again because that's the one thing I liked about the rally art was the uh, heated Recaro seats. Six speed manual, just had to get a manual. I don't think I could drive a Z that's automatic. That'd just take away a whole lot of the driving experience. Here, let me get inside. I can show you guys a bit more. Touring model comes with the updated navigation unit. I'm not too crazy about having fancy head units, so it doesn't really bother me. Triple gauges, I love this design in the Zeds, it, and they kept it across every model. So that's definitely something that derived from heritage. Also the startup for the uh, for the gauges is really nice. What else can I talk about? The Sport Package, it has the Akabono red calipers uh, front and rear. I'm sure it's... Uh, very noticeable difference going from the base model brakes to these, but uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you. You guys probably already noticed that I'm running infinity wheels. This is actually my winter wheels. Yes, I do drive it in winter. A lot of you will probably bash me for that, but you know what? Cars were meant to be driven. I take care of my cars, you know. Oil changes regularly. I always wash them. I don't see having any issue in the, in the future. Now you guys are probably wondering how it performs in the snow, and I haven't been able to drive it in snow a lot. Usually only take it out when the snow has been cleared. It, it, it handles pretty well in the, in the snow. Become a little uh, little tail happy if you give it a bit too much gas. You know what? That's just something I have to learn to, to get around. The Sport Package does add the VLSD, I believe it is. The Viscous Limited Sip Differential in the back. I believe that's it for additions for uh, having the Touring with the Sport Package. <clears throat> you guys see down there it only has 40,000 kilometers now I picked it up when it had 35,000 I put 5,000 on it already in the past few months and that's just because my my long commute I haven't been able to work on it very much I've only done one oil change which was actually very easy you already know got that RHB sticker on there go check them out I can't get over the look just the super wide flares here, especially in the rear too. It is just such a wide car. Like it just sticks out like crazy. Knowing how wide your car is at the back there, people staring at it. Another shout out, TS Tires. He does all my uh, all my tire swaps, hooking me up with new tires in that. He normally works in the GTA area, Barrie, Newmarket Aurora, Keswick. He'll pretty much drive anywhere. Now you guys are probably asking, am I going to mod this car? Now I'm very conflicted because of how pristine it is with the mileage. It's unmodified. It's never been modified. Apparently the previous owner, they just stored it. 
yeah, they only drove it very much. As you can tell, it only has 35,000 on it when I picked it up. We'll see. We'll see what I uh, what I end up doing. All right, it's cold out here. I'm going to go back inside. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Peace. Is where we leave it.